Today we have a suicide prevention training, but it's unique that it's specific to talking about the LGBTQIA plus community. There's some unique needs and identity related topics that are really important to talk about. Really, it's like a double whammy, right? Because suicide prevention is a very important conversation that we want to be having. And then the LGBTQ plus community conversations. The fact that this was for both populations was really incredible. So for instance, is it a myth or fact that you ask someone directly if they're having thoughts of suicide, that that increases the risk for them to attempt suicide? Myth or fact? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. The more that we talk about it, the more we can develop like solutions, um, the more that we can figure out how to be more helpful. A better way to ask a question actually can make a student feel more comfortable. I have a personal like interest in supporting students who are LGBTQIA, and so I thought this training would be helpful. And I actually want to give a quick little shout out to Philadelphia, which nationally has been one of the places where conversations concerning uh, Things like racism and within the LGBTQ community have been very public and very outward. I think it was just a nice reminder that community members do care, that they want to get resources, they want to get armed with education. And as a member of the community, it's even more heartwarming to see people come out for this particular topic. Thanks so much for coming. I can't stress how important these conversations are. A lot of the fear and hate that we see, it's coming just from ignorance, right? And from not having a place to talk about these kinds of things. So anytime we can give people space to learn and discuss, we're like one step closer to just a, a better world, really.